Hello everyone, welcome back. This is the short version of the antimony video that I just put out. So, if you're here for a short explanation on the great things about antimony, here it is. Let's get into it. Antimony is element number 51 on the periodic table of elements. It has a melting point of 1167 Fahrenheit or 631 Celsius, which is around the same melting temperature as aluminum, albeit just lower. Antimony is a metalloid, meaning that it exhibits properties similar to both metals and non-metals. It's in this stripe along the periodic table, containing other metalloids. Antimony is a nictogen. It is located between arsenic and bismuth, and is in the same chemical group as nitrogen. It is also a chalcophile, which means it's attracted to chalcogens such as sulfur, selenium, tellurium, and oxygen. As for the history of antimony, antimony was used by the ancient Egyptians in cosmetics, at least the sulfide of antimony was, and it was called kohol. Now, one of the first uses of native, or rather pure antimony, uh, was a part of a vase that was found in modern day Iraq, dating back to 3000 BC, likely the oldest sample of pure antimony being used by a civilization on record. Islamic scientist Jabir, I believe, I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly, Jabir ibn Hayyan is one of the first people to intentionally isolate antimony sometime before 815 AD. Now antimony's symbol, weirdly enough, isn't something like AN, it's SB. Some of you may be wondering about that, SB is short for stibium, which is the old Latin name for antimony. Antimony, the name, is derived from Byzantine Greek, and beyond that, not entirely sure where that name would come from. Now as for the toxicity of antimony. Inhaled antimony is really, really bad. It can cause lung cancer and other generalized lung issues. Uh, fluid buildup, decreased lung capacity, stuff like that, from what I understand. Antimony trioxide is especially bad as it is a carcinogen and it exhibits all those same properties and even more. Antimony poisoning appears similar to but is markedly different than arsenic poisoning as it messes with the same sort of systems that arsenic messes with and that being uh, the cell metabolism. But there are differences between the two as there are differences in uptake, metabolism, and excretion, which makes antimony less dangerous than arsenic, though still dangerous. Antimony can be inhaled, ingested, and absorbed. Skin absorption has been observed uh, in some scientific studies, and in those scientific studies, the compounds used were antimony trioxide and antimony pentoxide. However, I take no chances with native antimony either. Antimony has some interesting uses. Now, the main use for antimony is actually in its trioxide form in its use in fireproof materials, which surprised me when I was doing my own research on it. Antimony is also commonly used as an alloying agent for lead compounds, for instance in batteries, bearings, and also in high-speed projectiles. What I intend to use antimony for is for alloys, pretty much. I mean, I don't plan on using elemental antimony anytime soon, though I might. One place where I have used antimony, and sort of still continue to use antimony, is in things like alloys, specifically this ring. This ring actually contains some antimony in it. Um, the reason why I wear this ring is because there's very little antimony in it, and most of what's in this is copper. I'm feeling fairly safe about that, though I am still somewhat leery about it, so I try not to wear this thing too much. Anyway, with that, thank you for joining me for this video. If you enjoyed it, please do like, subscribe, comment, helps out the algorithm, and hey, you can always give me some suggestions for future videos. Thank you for joining me for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you all have a wonderful day.